In this video, I'll be telling you how to play PlayStation Game 1 uh, games on your Samsung Galaxy S3. Why Samsung Galaxy S3? Because that's the one I have. First, you're going to need to download uh, the emulator. And it's called RetroArch. Uh, and you can find it on the Google Play. Then, you're going to need uh, by itself is 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 compatible with uh some games. I don't know, I haven't tested that many but uh, but if you want if we want it to be compatible with more games uh you're gonna have to have the BIOS. And for that you can either go online and, and look for the BIOS, PS one BIOS or the, there is an there is an app in the Play Store called uh, any emulator BIOS. It is free. It looks like this. Mm. And, and the icon is a little it's a little blue circle, the letter B. And it says IOS on the bottom. I'm sorry for the crappy video. It looks like that. And well that one you select PlayStation 1 BIOS then it's going to uh, ask you where you want to save the BIOS. You save it. You save the BIOS in the same folder that you're going to have the games for RetroArch. When uh, when you download the games from RetroArch, uh, they can be in a format .dot bin bin or iso or cue. Uh, most of mine are in, are in ISO, which is uh, straight right straight from the CD, from the original CDs that people have uh, converted. And the way you set this up is your retro. You first of all, okay. Let's go back a little bit. When you download your games. Uh, you download them to your computer and you go to this website the ISO zone is T H E I S O Z O N E dot com and there you can buy them on, on the, you can not buy them, they're for free and the downloads in Sony PlayStation series and Sony PlayStation PSX ISO and there is a whole bunch of so it's like 99 99 pages and this is what a page looks like so I think I have pretty most all of them and these ones will be an ISO if you go like the MU World I think it is called MU Paradise I'm sorry you can you can get them there too uh, that's where I want that's where I got um, like Tekken and and others, and but here is where I got uh, the ones I really like, like Hydro Thunder and Parasite Eve, and they will be in a here in this page will be in the ISO format. Well, you download it to your computer, you extract them. You should already know how to do all that. I'm not gonna teach you how to do that. Well, if you want help, just ask down on the questions might be able to help you and uh, download it to your computer put them all in a folder create a folder in your computer and uh, extract them then connect your, your phone to your computer and transfer them to your phone create a folder on your phone and put them all there also when you need to put in the same folder, in that same folder, you need to put the BIOS. Uh, from any emulator BIOS, you pick PlayStation 1 BIOS, and then it's going to ask you uh, where you want it. You push on Browse, and you browse to the folder that you want to, uh, that you want to, you want them to be. And then you push 
on the bottom it says generate BIOS file and it will save it there uh, most likely it is going to create like a PlayStation in that folder it's going to create a sub folder uh, called PlayStation 1 BIOS then just move the BIOS from that folder to the previous folder where all the games are you have to have the BIOS in the same uh, folder then after that after you have your games and your files in the same folder on your phone you are done you just click on retroarch load game first one I'm down here retroarch PlayStation 1 and as you can see I already got a few like that uh, that are alive Hydro Thunder, uh, my favorite is Parasite Eve, and you can see I have this SCPH1001 that bin, those are the BIOS, the same folder, Metal Slow, Silent Hill, uh, let's try Hydro Thunder, let's see. as you can see it works and this is my tutorial uh, rate comment you know subscribe all the good thing down there or maybe up here you know youtube changes whatever just subscribe or comment thank you if you need any if you have any questions just text me i mean text me um in the comments i'll help you <laughs> bye